Oh, did somebody say my name? What's that? You want a speech? A little graduation speech? Oh, I'll give you a graduation speech. Here we are after all these years. And by here, I mean my summer home, which is what I call my parents' house. It is such an honor to be chosen as senior speaker. I know I was only picked because I'm the prettiest and most popular girl at Whitman, but still, it means a lot. You know, they came to me and said, Maude, we're gonna do graduation a little differently this year. And I said, great, it was getting a little stale. And then they said, yeah, so we're gonna have it online and there's gonna be a pandemic going on also. And I was like, huh, okay, kind of like the old way of doing things, but I'll give this a shot. We have worked so hard for today and alongside us are the people who made this possible. Our beautiful families who gave us a foundation from which we could grow. The incredible staff at Whitman who enriched our lives in so many ways. And of course, our amazing professors. In the past few weeks, they have pushed themselves in ways they never imagined by learning how to use a computer. No, really, professors, your patience, wisdom, kindness, along with the work you gave us to do, is really what made this whole experience college. All right, enough of that, back to us. Look, I know our graduation doesn't look the way we thought it would, but it's still a day to celebrate. We've been waiting for today for such a long time. And I think we, the class of 2020, have been pretty good sports about this whole situation. In fact, we might even be overdue for a little bit of whining. So let's celebrate today because we deserve it. Let's whine tomorrow or whine tomorrow. <laughs> and the next day, I don't know. <laughs> Ever since class has ended, I've had this uh-oh feeling. Maybe less uh-oh and more, oh God. <laughs> When I think about the future, I feel nervous, confused, and scared. <gasps> We've been students basically our entire lives, and now we're heading off into the great unknown. And our unknown is really unknown. I mean, I can only read the news for three minutes before I have to put it away, because mod no likey. I don't think it's dramatic to say things look bleak. We're graduating into the worst job market since the 1930s. There's about to be a new Great Depression in town. Only this time, they'll be talking about a me. Not to mention climate change, which makes me want to scream, but which some people don't even believe is real. And the politicians, well, let's just say they never asked my advice. Plus, if you're single right now, who knows if you'll ever find someone. We're really up against it. And it feels like a lot of people expect us, the young and hot, to have the answer. They say young people are the hope, the future, the ones who can fix our problems. It's like, hey man, whatever happened to good old fashioned just chilling out? Besides, in the midst of all this, we're still trying to figure out how to pay the bills, how to be happy, how to do things that feel meaningful. And now I've gone back to this childlike state. I mean, now I'm back to my mom cooking all my meals and tucking me in every night. Thanks, mommy. So I'm wondering, how am I supposed to build a life out of this? And that's when I remember what the school told me to do. Wrap up your speech on a hopeful note. Because you know what? We've already practiced making a life for ourselves at Whitman. We had to pick the classes, the major, the extracurriculars that would have the most meaning for us. And if we tried something and realized it was lame, we do something different. That's why I quit the mycology club. I'll buy my mushrooms at the store, thanks. We've learned so much from our experiences already. Sure, going forward, the path will be less clear. The stakes will be higher. There will be a coronavirus floating through the air. But we're a pretty resilient group. We're scrappy. We might get down, but we're never down for long. Or if we are, it's because we like lying down. We're just taking a nap. Thank you for sharing these past four years with me. I learned a lot from my professors, but I've learned even more from all of you. You guys are a lot nicer than I am and you're better at sports. 
I wish we could all be together today to celebrate, but hey, you guys are welcome at my parents' house anytime. So let's go out there, class of 2020, and let's rock this.